Hi, welcome back to Dale Gamer's Custom Cars Anything. <laughs> anyway, little update again on the on a snow puppy. What I did is I took the uh, handlebars off the Yamaha, and then I I went to work, and the whole column I almost used. But I'll start with this. I cut a one-inch hole through here, and I welded this on there and stuff, and now the handle is adjustable, you know, you can go up and down. And then I made the deal here at an angle, and I made it so I can fold it all the way over, and then it's easy for storage. I'm going to take a bar yet here, this bar, and I'm going to put it across here so it stops it from going all the way down, you know. There'll be a stop for it, and I'm going to probably put a bolt through it on each side so it can't go up or down and then here I used the the clevises that were on the snowmobile where when when the shaft the steering shaft went down at an angle they mounted it so the steering shaft would still turn you know if you understand what I'm saying so I used them off the off the steering column as well but then what I did is I actually connected a, a shaft between the two. So it's kind of like a stabilizer, like when you're, if you got to pull up on this side, and it pushes down on that side, and, you know. And then it also lets it lift up and down really nice. I jammed everything together here. And then I built the frame. I'm a little suspicious on this bracket size. That's a 16 tooth, and I think I should go up to 20. I think I should up that up to 20 at least. Where I got it figured, you know. And then I seen another guy when he was building his. He made a crank, you know, where he could actually reverse it. Then you know, so goes forward or reverse the whole unit. And then that's just put on by a loose bolt here. You can take this off, and you can take this crank off, and you can put it inside the machine. You know? So, yeah, so you have reverse. If you got to reverse it for some reason, if you're loading it or something, you know, that gives you reverse because obviously you don't really use reversing these. But if you need it, you got it. I like that idea. Then I made a front bumper here. Here, I'm gonna see what's here if I got a better light here. Or better yet. Oh, this adjustment of, takes such a long time. So I made a bumper down here, you know, and then it's used as a handle, so you can pick it up. In case you gotta lift it up in the front. And then, uh, I'll kind of see how I did this. But yeah, I think that sprocket is going to be too small. 16 tooth, it just doesn't seem right. It just, and I still got to, I still got to cut the keyhole in, or the, in here. And I got to, the sprocket ain't welded onto the hub yet. And then I got to weld this around here yet. And then that just slides on to there. Oh, nice focusing. God, you can't have... Man, I tell you. Good focus. Huh. Well, it ain't gonna focus now for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Gotta hold it still for a while. So, yeah, so that's gotta be welding, welding key slot. and You know. And, uh... Yeah. You know. Then for two hundred bucks, I got the Predator uh, Max Performance two twenty four CC. It's got six point six horsepower. So we'll see how that works. Got that all mounted. 
I was going to put that tote in the back here on that one video, but that tote, it turns out, comes up at an angle, not don't want to fit in here. So I'm going to find a tote that fits inside here. And then I think I'm going to put a, I'm looking at a John Near hood. I seen a guy, he put a simplicity hood on the front of his, you know, and then he made the hood flip down and up, you know, put a hinge on the front. So I'm thinking about somehow making something like that work. I think that was a good idea. You got to keep the snow out of these things. Gets in the motor, freezes up the throttle cable, brake don't work, the belt will slip. So somehow you got to keep the snow out of here, you know. I'm going to enclose this whole thing. Now I'm gonna make the top flip up like a chest. So that way then I can... Uh, um, try to keep everything kind of dry in there. And then I'll leave this side open so I can get to the recoil. And I want to put electric start on this, but I don't know. I'm going to do some research on it. I'd like to go electric start yet. So, yeah, so that's all that's working. Welds are penetrated. Beautiful. I got to get a new helmet. I can't see nothing through that helmet. You know. But, again, that bar that's there, that's just laying there for now. It's not welded or nothing. It's it's going to go up up here. Then it'll stop. It'll fall from these bars down to there. It'll come up, you know. It'll stop it from, like, right there somewhere. So right now I just got it laying across. And as for the hitch right now, I just got... Let me pull that out of there. See this bar will go up here like this. You know. So it stops the handle from going down. But, uh, and then I'll bolt the handles to that. So that way then... When I want to store it, then I can just fold this all the way over to the front. But there's my hitch so far. Yeah, I'm just going to lay this down like that. There we go. But uh, I want to put like a, um, like a hitch pin on here. You know, so that way. Because when you're pulling a trailer with these, these tip like this and go up and down... So you can't have a have a stationary pin like this. You gotta have an eye. So like a pinto hitch on a trailer. So this back trailer can move around, you know. So you gotta that's just pre-drilled. I just drilled one little hole in the center in there. But I'm gonna put like a pinto hitch on here. An eye. So a pinto hitch on the sled. So you can clip it in there and then top clips down so it can flex and turn when you're going over the hills and shit, you know. So, but yeah, so, and then I got to, I got to take this all apart because I got to paint it and then each one of these bolts here, you know, not, not these two, these are bolted all the way through. But each one of these get those nut certs on the on the aluminum chassis. So we got the rigidity, you know. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put like that support bar, if I'm gonna put one here yet maybe or something on each side. God that focus thing just is crazy. Fuck my finger in front of it. Yeah yeah, screws it right up. But uh, anyway, that's so far. So we're getting we're getting close. But uh, when I'm done, it it might have a John Deere hood on it off a garden tractor, and I might paint this whole thing green yet. You know. So don't know yet. Right now, it's planned to go all in black, make it look kind of like a lawnmower. But anyway, yeah, 
That's all I can say for now. But, uh, yeah. And then the suspension, too. I think I'm going to have to lower that yet. And so there's still a lot of work left on this thing. It's raining here now. Well, what would be nice is these handlebars here. Since I used the whole thing, I drilled a one-inch hole through here. And when I cut that, that used to be a steering shaft that went down to the skis. But I cut it off, drilled a hole through this, shoved this through there, and I welded it here, and I welded it here. So that's that's pretty, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. But now i got the adjustability. I can adjust these handlebars, you know, up and down. So that would be kind of neat. But, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, she's coming around. If you want to see this, please uh, subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. We'll talk to you later, you guys. Happy trails to everybody. If you're building your own, good luck to you, too. You know, this is my first one, and I've been watching videos from people who have done it, and this all helps all of us. So, you guys take care, okay? Bye-bye. Till the next video again.